What's going on, YouTube Universe? This is your boy Zan the Wayne here, the Dreadlock Nerd, here with another Xander Interjection Reaction video. I know it's been a minute since I put a video out, but this week's been kind of crazy, but look out for a whole bunch of reaction videos coming your way. Also, a couple of review videos as well. I'm actually preparing for an interview at about 6 o'clock, but I wanted to squeeze in one reaction video before that time gets here. Uh, a lot of you guys have been sending in your requests, so I'm going to try to meet all of them. Uh, we're going to act to a Screen Junkies Honest trailer for The Wolf of Wall Street. Now, I've seen The Wolf of Wall Street, and I thought it was an awesome movie. Crazy as hell, but it was awesome. So, I want to see what Screen Junkies has to say about The Wolf of Wall Street. From Martin Scorsese, the legendary director of that movie starring Leonardo DiCaprio, that other movie starring Leonardo DiCaprio, and also these movies starring Leonardo DiCaprio, <laughs> comes The Wolf of Wall Street. Everybody has a door to work with a lot with. DiCaprio. Everybody has a director that they like to work with. For the last film you'd ever want to watch with your grandparents, featuring an average of 3.16 f**ks per minute. F**king $30,000 f**king half wit. Benny f**king Hanna? Absolutely but fuck it, we can do better than that. Leonardo da fucking Caprio stars as a fucking young hot rich guy who hangs out on fucking yachts and has sex with fucking models. Basically, Leonardo DiCaprio. Watch as he yells his way to an Oscar nomination. <laughs> And watch as the guy who stole Best Actor stops by to pound his chest right in Leo's mm -hmm. face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at that you fucking hair, though. It's rejoice so, at the so, triumphant return of so fat fucking fake. Jonah Hill and recoil at the triumphant debut of his fat fucking penis. Perfect. Thrill as he tries to shed his image as the funny fat guy in comedies by becoming the funny fat guy in a Scorsese movie. You're all right. We all love you. Shut the up. <laughs> Experience the film. Critics. I gotta watch this again. I've watched the movie in a minute. The lifestyle of a corrupt Wall Street stockbroker. Even though he's a fucking miserable wife beating drug addict who loses his business, family, and fortune. Yep. They do make Quaaludes look fucking awesome, though. <laughs> Witness Scorsese break out every Scorseseism in the book, like a ton of tracking shots, fucking voiceover. See that humongous estate down there? That's my house. Fucking freeze frames, multiple fucking wives. Having a huge f***ing hard on for New York City, and an ambitious criminal main character with a short temper whose pride is ultimately his downfall. Ain't going nowhere. Pretty much. So settle in for a movie that's all about f***ing excess, from the three-hour runtime to the f***ing cursing. It was worth it though. Oh, I ain't gonna lie, it was worth three hours. To all the people in suits listening to Leo talk. <laughs> Two shots of those same people going fucking nuts. nuts. That's probably how it was, though. That's probably how it is now. These rich fat cats just be losing their shit over how much money they be making. You, you can't tell me you probably wouldn't be doing the same daggone thing you made that much money. Two time Oscar nominee Jonah Hill. Bill Harley Quinn. How I Divorced Your Mother, the director of Iron Man. The director of Her, the director of The Princess Bride, Shane, Coach Taylor, Dallas Oscar Steelers Club, the artist formerly known as Relevant, the real Jordan Belfort, because that guy deserves a fucking break, right? And Leonardo No Oscaro, That's which is up. crazy when you think about all the other people who have Oscars, like 3 6 Mafia, Al Gore, Cuba Gooding Jr., Dean Pelton from Community, Sookie, Catwoman, Marissa Tomei, Cher, Nick Cage, Monique, American Idol quarterfinalist Jennifer Hudson, Cadmus, Roberto Benini, Twice, and the movie Crash. God damn it! The Wolf of fucking Wall Street. Basically, yeah. That's what I could have called it. So me. It's the one DiCaprio used in Wolf of Wall Street. Boom. F***ing easy money right there. Be sure to subscribe for more <laughs> Honest Trailers. 
execute order 66. Mm. I will find you and I will kill you. Not bad. B -b -b bird is the word. I get knocked down, but I get up again. You ain't never gonna keep me down. Tina, come get some ham. Mm. You guys can come up with better lines to give this guy than that. That was pretty funny, and they did say fuck a lot. I'm, I'm trying to think of what other movie that had a lot of the F-bombs in there. I can't think of them off the top of my head right now. But The Wolf of Wall Street, for what it's worth, is still a dope movie. I, I don't care what anybody says. That shit is crazy. I haven't watched that movie in a minute. I need to go watch it again because that's just fucking wild. It's like, it's like the social network on Quaaludes or crack. All the damn drugs at the end of the damn movie. I don't care. I mean, again, post your comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought about this honest trailers. If you're not subscribed to Screen Junkies, I don't know what you're doing with your life. So, so go subscribe to them now, like right now. Um, hit the like button if you enjoyed my reaction to this honest trailers. Hit the dislike button if you didn't enjoy my reaction to this honest trailers. Share this video with your friends who like Screen Junkies, who probably have not seen it yet. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what you see. Dreadlock Nerd out. Peace.